Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Pro Division with the tournament win here for the qualifying round in the game set match tournament in Golf Clash the game video sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic and make sure that you do hit that uh, like button also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications you can get the ultimate tournament guides and or the exclusive tour text guides depending on where you want to focus your game at on patreon.com slash golf clash tommy link directly in the description down below follow the info box on the right hand side to get the club distance adjustment elevation adjustment also what ball and club type i suggest you to play with have in mind that those are all suggestions and you don't have to follow it if you don't want to but there's always a plan behind it so Let's go to hole number one. We start off with hole number one, and here I want us to play with a kingmaker to reduce the wind as much as possible and still keep the free to play ball ID that we do have here in pro. 2.2 bars of backspin, 3 bars of left spin, and I'm looking to now have half of the red ring outside the rough with a ball guideline through the hole. Once that is done, we adjust maximum distance with a 15% over adjustment power three ball numbers and here you can also see the idea of having a win three ball here because we do want to make sure that we're not gonna go into max distance of our club which could technically be a risk with a bad wind angle and only using a power two ball and especially for those of you that do play with the quarterback level eight for example may be would be good to have some room for you know um for higher wind Write the pin for a beautiful hole in one on hole number one. To add as well, we're adding a small 12 of one for the shot as well. To just push the ball a little bit higher up to make sure that we're going to have the speed enough to get to the hole. For hole number two, we are going for green. And this is because the wind is a crosswind. And I would do this the same if we would be having a tailwind and even honestly a minor headwind but my focus here is going to give you a shot which can be made with four and a half bar topspin on your driver which is going to be extra mile level six plus also going to have to have you know a bit lower level four sammers but my focus here is going to be on the extra mile so that is what i would like you to use if you're going to try to replicate your shot if not then use the practice area and test with the driver that you want to play with Four and a half bar top spin, two left spin, ball guideline to be pointing to the right of the pin. We adjust max plus 15. And in this scenario here, I'm using four rings of overpower. And what I would like to say with this here now is that we are a little bit lucky to roll through the rough because there is a lot of rough that we ro roll through. And that is because we're only using four and a half bar top spin. So my idea for this one is the following. Four and a half bar top spin if you don't have more than that, use that obviously, but always go max overpower, like for X mile six and X mile level seven. If you have six bars of topspin, like for an example on X mile level eight and also on X mile level nine, I would keep the six bars of topspin. I would not try to mess around with more topspin on X mile level nine, at least not before that has been tested, but six bars of topspin and only go with four rings of overpower. So in that case, we should be have a really good idea on how to always get ourselves out from the rough. But again, as this hole has always been, there is some bad spots in that rough and it might get you to not roll out sometimes. So be prepared with your rough iron to try to get eagle from there. But with the wind that we're having here now, it's too good of an opportunity to get the ball to green to not go for it. For hole in number three, this is going to be a tough one, especially when playing with, you know, intermediate type of clubs here in pro. I'm going to play with four and a half bar topspin to show you that this drive is possible to play with a bit lower level clubs and not just focus on those that you have six bars of topspin. We start with the inner ring to the right by the rough line, complete max distance. And I'm going to use four and a half bar topspin, one bar of left spin. 
maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment and then we go full blast overpower every single time. You can play with a titan here also if you want to but a kingmaker is going to be the best ball because then you reduce the wind and that's going to help you get more yards on, yards on the drive. As we are having the headwind here from T, the, my goal is only to get ourselves the eagle here because the albatross will be very difficult and again it's only the qualifying round so we don't want to push it too hard we don't want to use any special balls and then in the end it would be too tough to focus on getting anything else than an eagle here i'm using the cataclysm you can use the big dog here as well i'm playing this one as safe as i can one bar of top spin and you can see here now that i'm aiming with the ball guide i'm pointing towards the pin that is at least the plan and you having the second bounce approximately one ring above the rough line i would say going with a little bit more of a distance between the bottom of uh, sorry the second bounce in the rough line would be a little bit better maximum distance with a 30 percent over adjustment uh, based on two things really headwind it compressed the ball guideline and then also that we are having a very downhill play here as you can see here this ball is going to fly a lot and then it bounces and then again it's going to be having that compressed ball guideline as i just talked about hole number three take you for what it is boring wind get the eagle and be done with it We come from a very boring win on hole number three and we have as equally boring win on hole number four. Here we play for a birdie and we, you know, sure, we're gonna push and try to get an eagle, but it's gonna be such a, yeah, such a slim opportunity that I'm not really believing in it. So we start with four and a half bar top spin, two bars of side spin to the right, starting at the plus one yard mark with extra mile level eight and nine, extra mile level seven, level six, start a little bit higher up around plus four yard mark. Adjust max plus 10, no overpower whatsoever. Try to hit perfect, but a great left and a great right will still be fine. I'm using a Titan ball to prevent myself from going into overpower. Sure, you can play with a power two or a power one ball as well, but again, there is value in using a power 3 ball to just stay away from overpower. Second shot, we play with our Guardian. Doesn't matter what Guardian you have, use it. Use as much backspin that you can with half a bar side spin to the right. Now I'm looking for the inner ring to be by the start of the fringe. You can see that the second bounce is somewhat aligned with the pin. And, you know, we see here to be approximately six green square rows to the left of the pin you have to count that yourself i might be wrong <laughs> with with a row or two adjust max plus 10 and then we're gonna go with curl and here i'm using you can see here 0 0.98 ball of curl sorry 0 0.9 or 0 0.8 ball of curl to the right try it perfect and this ball is gonna be on green if you're a little lucky you might get to roll back uh, on the green and to roll up towards the pin again sure perfect ball we may need to use a little bit less curl but to be completely honest what a boring wind on hole number four take the birdie be done with it and then we move on to hole number five which will be a good opportunity For hole number five, I'm going to put my focus on the more aggressive option here on this hole, which is going to require six bars of topspin, and we're going to use, in this case as well, three bars of side spin to the right. You can see that I stretch out to have the second bounce halfway into the rough above the bunker. Once I find that, I release my target, and then I will, in this case, adjust the maximum distance with a 15% over adjustment. Once that is done, we will push up one ring because the one ring was the uh, was the amount that we was into overpower when pushing up. Have in mind that this is only for the extra mile. If you do play with an apocalypse level five plus, you will most likely not need to push up anything because you already from start have more power. So have that in mind. Perfect ball, and now once again we are looking to have the first bounce on the fairway into the rough. To then roll out to the top right corner everything like this may sound very technical and might too difficult but trust me on this it's going to be worth it in a worst case scenario you may not clip the rough with the second bounce but then the fairway works like a it's such a massive slope so even if it gets up into the rough it will most likely fall down onto the fairway again 
Now, second shot, the reason I don't have an elevation number is because we're going to play a minus 45% elevation for this shot. And the thing that we're going to look for here now is like, what plus yardage is our Grizzly in? You see here now directly it's our turn and what we're looking for there is in what plus yardage is our grizzly in this scenario if we disregard the replay we are playing with the plus one yard mark of grizzly as a reference We're gonna have that in mind we set up with four bars of backspin two bars of side spin to the left Ball guidelines should be, you can see, up to the top right corner of the green or to the top of the green to fall down left of cup. That's our aim point. Adjustment here now, we do play in this case 26% slider minus 45% elevation, power three numbers. Perfect ball. And now we do want the ball to obviously bounce on the green and then take that little kick up like we're getting there and then to catch the roll down towards the pin. This is a shot that is absolutely beautiful and it works really well. It's a very consistent way of dropping this shot for an albatross. And, and to be honest, on this hole, getting an albatross is a massive bonus. But this route here makes it at least in my head to become one of the better opportunities that we do have on these nine holes to play in the qualifying round. Hole number six, I would say this is the toughest part three to drop. And I base that on the fact that, you know, a lot of things is going to go right if we're going to get this to drop. I tested left side, right side, left side, right side plenty of times. And I decided to go with left side in the end, as I feel that the setup there is going to be easy. It also is going to take away the trees in the center from the equation, which otherwise will be in the equation if we are playing on the right hand side. Start at the plus five yard mark with the sniper level 10. And then we have the plus seven yard mark for sniper nine and start at max for sniper level seven and level eight. Katana ball always adjust with only 0 0.3 bars of side spin to the right. Maximum distance with a 20% over adjustment power three ball settings. And the reason we do miss high here like above the cup is the fact that we're using too much side spin. The more side spin you use, the less the, or like the less the ball will curve down towards the pin so have that in mind so if you miss low you have too much side spin if you miss high you sorry if you miss low you have too little side spin if you miss high you have too much so you need to find that balance in between but 0 0.3 bars of side spin to the right is what we judge to be the correct number here on hole number six For those that watched the stream earlier this Monday, notice how big of a struggle I have on this hole. But now I found a really good shot that worked really well and makes me calm now again. So what we're going to do, have the red ring to the left just by the shadow from the tip of the tree. You can see that clearly. And if you didn't notice that when I did set it up, make sure to rewind and look at it again. Three bars of side spin to the right. We use 4.2 bars of top spin. Adjustment is medium distance with a 5% over adjustment. Power three ball settings. And we're using the right side of the ball outside the adjustment ring to the right in curl. And now this ball is going to catch the roll that we want to. And most likely going to drop on the low side of the cup. But I don't care in whatever way it drops. Just that it drops. NASCAR, for those of you that haven't heard that name, that's the common name for hole number seven, which is usually, once we found the adjustment, a good chance for a drop. For hole number eight, we have another short par four, and here we're going to try to get the ball to the green, or at least to get as close to the green possible for a simple eagle. Add all the top spin that you can get with the big topper to have the second bounce be approximately half a ring from the top from the rough, as you can see there on the video. Once that is done, we shall then adjust for maximum distance plus ten. The power two ball settings. 
and try to hit perfect. Have in mind that this shot can be played with lower level big topper as well, as you notice that we are not even close to being max distance of our club. It just happens to be that I do have the big topper level 6, which is a very high upgraded club for pro division on this account. So please have that in mind that you can play this shot even with lower level big topper. A great left may be danger, so if you're gonna hit a great ball, you wanna hit a great right. But in a best case scenario, and then you obviously hit perfect and we end up on green and we have a pot for a simple eagle on hole number eight. On hole number nine, we shall be using our apocalypse level three plus and we're going to start by looking at the max distance position with the yellow ring to the left by the sand trap line and this with apocalypse level 3 and level 4 when it comes to apocalypse 5 plus we are looking to have the half of the red ring inside the bunk uh, inside the bunker to the left adjust max plus 10 sorry max plus 20 not 10 once that is done we push out the max and gonna apply one and a half ring of overpower. I'm using one bar of top spin and three bars of side spin to the left. Always max curl regardless of what apocalypse level you have on your club. You can see here that the ball gets down the fairway nicely and now we have a really good position for the second shot. 372 is a great yardage. When it comes to the second shot we're gonna play it uh, with our slider but we're also gonna play it with minus a 35% elevation I don't have that number written up and that's why you can't see it in the info box but minus a 35 is what we're gonna focus at now all right so now I'm looking for the sticky spot or the funnel basically so I'm looking to be just left of that before spin has been added once that is done, we're gonna apply then backspin and side spin. And here you need to be pretty fast with your setup because the spins will vary depending on what uh, what position you do have. It's all based on the drive, but obviously with a drive that is perfect, then you're gonna have no problem getting into the correct spot. We do want to aim with the ball guideline to be approximately two green squares short of pin with one green square to the right of pin as an offset. Tough one, I know, but this is a tough one to drop as well, so have that in mind. The plus yardage that we are looking for, that we're focusing on, is like if we are at plus seven yard mark, we shall be using 70% slider, and we shall be using 35% minus 35% elevation. That is all accounted for this miss that we have there. Uh, and, you know, this should be, if you set up it correct, if you set up the second shot correctly, which is going to be the difficult part, and then it perfect, I do believe we will definitely have an Albatross or two on our scorecard. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this playthrough for Pro Division with the tournament win for the game set match tournament here in golf clash the game make sure to get our ultimate tournament guides for pro division or expert or master you can obviously get them all if you want to patreon.com slash golf clash tommy link directly in the description down below video sponsored by golf clash and playdemic thank you once again for watching and good luck in your golf clash game